C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. My name is Eros88 and today um, we have finished ransacking the lunar station that we are currently docked in. Actually there's the moon. And I've already taken care of uh, all of the loot and all of the information found um, on said uh, lunar station. Actually I already filled up uh, the cargo hold of my ship. Uh, I also had to give some to Vasco and currently this is the setup that I am uh, wearing. Uh, all the armor, backpacks and uh, suits, helmets and stuff that, uh, well, uh, arms as well, weapons, um, that fits me um, and that I think will be more helpful uh, have been uh, properly um, selected and stored. So yeah, this is my uh, current quick draw <laughs> menu, so yeah. Uh, this is what I'm going for uh, for now, at least. So yeah, uh, this is it. Med packs, amps, and a little bit of battle meal. And yeah, I think we're ready to go to uh, Neptune. I think to keep tracking this guy, who apparently <laughs> has been just jumping around the solar system. Um, on dock. off so yeah let's uh, let's see and where's Neptune here it is I think Nova Galactic Star Yard what oh Neptune travel yeah I want to go there Alrighty. Oh. Achievement unlock does stuff reach level five. Oh, we're level five now. No time for taking the sights. That could be our landlord. Okay. Something's wrong. Oh. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get oh. ready. Okay. I cannot place more shields. Oh, I thought I was able to. I should keep uh, most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship engines are down you must fly close to the ship before you will be allowed to duck once you board expect the crew on the ship to fight back that's okay. it start the docking routine come on let's go rescue that vanguard okay 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 we're, we're boarding now oh this is gonna be fun
I mean, let's board. It's good right to now. be back on board. Oh wait. Um. Okay, which one has? There we go. Uh, okay, a, a bloody, a bloody thing was back. Or a ship key. Ooh, a lot of credits, nice. Let me very quickly grab um, everything from the other guys we just killed. So this is our, like uh, his living quarters, maybe. Temperature levels are bottoming out. Okay, 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 okay. A lot of weapons. I already have on my. Have my power. Anti-ballistic navigator pack. Whoa. Okay. Nothing much here. Okay. There we go. How are you, my friend? Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? <laughs> Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Apparently. Uh, breaching the hostile ship and saving lives my kind of party. <laughs> More violence, no one has any respect for space this day. Ooh, where are those people? Why did they hijack your ship? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Sure. Okay, we're from the Explorers Group. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. <laughs> mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? A hood ornament? <laughs> uh. Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun zealots, plus ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. 
I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Uh, judging by today, I mean... Yeah, it sure does. Guess someone needs to be out there keeping the old neighborhood safe. Yep. If you're ever in Sidonia, we should grab a beer sometime. If sure you don't so. mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Nice. We got the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. All right. Time to move on. That was a little bit easier than I expected, but it was full of action, don't get me wrong. Uh, it was nice to finally have, like, um, some, um, some proper exploration and proper missions here. I really like that. Okay. So, wait, what? Alpha Centauri? Mission? No, no. Well, first of all, uh, let's grab this and I guess let's go to the star map. Oh, return to the lodge. So it is here. like the visuals of, of like space jumping. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Sure. Scan complete. You are clear to land at New Atlantis. Thank you. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, and I actually grabbed the hazmat suit because it gives you a little bit more extra stuff, so... <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Sarah Morgan is no longer your companion, okay? Did you... <laughs> we have it. Go ahead. Do the honors. Sure. It fits! spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, 
That's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. All right. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Yes. Experts jump in. <laughs> what does it mean to be a full member? Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. Okay. Well, it's an honor to be a part of this. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Okay. Uh, why ask me? Why not someone who's been here longer? Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. Why not keep going? Yeah, I mean, it sounds nice, but... Maybe later, have a few personal errands to run. Fair enough. But before you go, let me tell you about our other leads. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. Okay. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. I and last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Okay. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Sure. Oh, 8,000 credits. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, who's some co? What's this expedition of his? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. What can you tell me about Barrett, anyway? His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. <laughs> and what's the eye and who's Vladimir? We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. So, what should I do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Okay. Um... You're awfully quiet. Hold on. How did you know there was an, active, an artifact on Vectera? You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. <laughs> um, do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? No, it's fine. Go ahead. Oh, I've already done oh, this. Okay then. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that's it for these dialogues. Bye bye. I'll see her later. And what I wanted to do was to actually, um, well, let's see the missions first. We have Into the Unknown, Back to Victoria, and The Empty Nest. So I'm guessing this would be actually a good one to start first. But I want to see the activities first. Speak with Trevor. I don't know who's Trevor. Check out your ship's inventory. I've already done that. 
Speak to Commander Tual about joining the Vanguard. Start an outpost on a planet. Talk to the bartender at Viewport. And talk to Sergeant Yumi. Okay. I'm guessing... Okay, I'm guessing I'll be doing I cannot wait oh. to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. Some I'll cool. limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged <laughs> into our dysfunctional little family. And you must be some code of Resurgalactic Expert. <laughs> Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. <laughs> Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Only it was in Frisco Collective Space. Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. Uh, anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Sure. But I'm gonna head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Thanks. Oh. That you never expected to end up involved in something like this. Yeah. You don't tell. I'm planning a grocery run later. So, mom and dad are going to be like here forever now? Just so you know, your mother's missed you. Like a lot. <laughs> okay, dad. Alright, um. I wanted to check out, um. A little bit of this thing. But I'm not sure if I'm actually able to do something here. Or if I need to grab, like, all of the stuff I need from the ship maybe if I go to the ship actually your father dropped by he left a note for you Here. oh wait what note from that added but that's up there um antiballistic navigator pack Gonna take this for sure. Whoa, constellation spacesuit. What? Oh, that looks nice. Constellation helmet as well. But why do they keep dropping the airborne thingy? I mean, just to look. Right. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> More ship key. Oh, not from that. Dear Soros, if you could stop by home, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Nothing urgent, but I would sure like to see. Okay. I mean, I guess let's just talk to him right now.
I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a gnat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? Oh, really? You have hidden depths, Mom. I have some vids of when I was, um, 12 in my Constellation Halloween outfit. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, that's but cute. I found space so fascinating that there is still so much we don't know. I guess I still find it that way. I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. <laughs> I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She oh. fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh, took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, May I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. Oh, wow. He was chair of Constellation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. Oh, Dad. Holy shit. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I'll treasure it. Uh, you really shouldn't have. It must have cost the fortune. Um... So Malcolm Livingston, who was he? Oh, I'm no expert, but he was some sort of wealthy entrepreneur. Near the end of his life, he grew fascinated with space. He wound up being a benefactor of Constellation and shared it before he died. The stories make him seem colorful. I think I'd like him. I hope it keeps you safe. If not, maybe get a good place for it on a mantle. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but... Uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. <laughs> sure. Thanks so much, Dad. Would it be all right if I brought you cookies? Like a storybook. Actually, cookies. What type? I make a bean snicker. Yes, I um, think that would be quite all right. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> the fact that they're just staying here and no one's telling them to not eat. Uh, but yeah, I think um, I'm going to leave it here in, uh, for today's episode, guys. And I'm going to take some time in between episodes to go to my ship, grab all that stuff that I've been uh, gathering up, and maybe try and sell something. You see that scientist out in uh, past, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Sure, talk to the scientist by the tree, okay. Um... And yeah, I'm gonna do some boring stuff, some trading, some selling and buying uh, things. Because I think uh, I'm getting a little bit clustered with things on my ship and on my inventory. And I think I will bore you a little bit with uh, doing those uh, commandments here. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I think that's it for today's episode. I really hope you're enjoying and if you are, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya!